my PhD. He's a founding board member and he helps with research and innovation, founding scientific and mentorship advisor as well. Shin? Yep. Hi. Thank you, Rachel. And hi, everyone. Thank you for having me here today. Uh, I'm Shin Mukai. I'm a chemical biologist and, and entrepreneur. My expertise is in biology, immunology, and synthetic organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry. I did my PhD at the University of Western Australia, and then I took research positions at research institutes, companies such as, you know, Harvard Medical School and Sanofi. Right? Then I founded a pharmaceutical company, New Window Therapeutics, to develop new uh, small molecule uh, inhibitors targeting cancer stem cells for pancreatic treatment. While I'm pursuing my research goal, I'm very passionate about nurturing the next generation of scientific leaders. For example, I'm currently serving as a council leader at the US-Japan Council to nurture the next generation of leaders in the US and Japan. At KFD, uh, I see my role as helping you know, shape the research direction not only from a scientific perspective, but also making sure young people can actually be part of the process. So, you know, I'd like to help build the programs that con combine real world research with youth leadership. So students are not only learning about science, but also they can, also, they can also, you know, uh, contribute to it. And then, you know, uh, how young people can get involved, you know, in biology or chemistry, there are a lot of opportunities, you know, for students to participate. For example, you know, they can help explore how to reprogram, reprogram cells, you know, to produce insulin or test methods to protect these cells from immune attack or even work on, you know, building low cost biosensors. Right? So I'd like to help with design, designing you know, uh, a practical program where students work on real research projects with mentorship and guidance. Maybe even something like a student research fellowship program or even a project incubator. I want young people to feel like they are part of the you know, uh, discovery process, not, not just watching from the sidelines, okay? And finally, you know, why you know, type 1 diabetes innovation matters to me. Even if I don't, sorry, even if you know, I don't work specifically on diabetes on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm always motivated to take, take on difficult medical challenges, you know, especially ones where patients are, you know, still waiting for better treatments. Type 1 diabetes is one of those challenges. Yeah, it still demands, you know, a constant uh, management every single day. That's why, you know, it's very important to keep pushing forward with you know, new ideas, especially ones that, that can make the, their life easier. Right? As I said, you know, I'm very passionate about nurturing the next, next generation of scientific leaders. What excites me about uh, you know uh, COP Foundation is uh, how it brings together cutting edge science and youth energy. Right? This is a powerful combination, and I'm very grateful for the chance to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, it's very exciting to bring bring together cutting edge technology and the youth to treat type one diabetes. 